Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's me, Insightful, here above the auction house in Stormwind, just in case anybody was wondering. And in this video, I'm going to show you the best speed set you can get in 10.2 as of right now. Yes, I've already splashed out probably around 100k gold on various items just because I wanted to test them out. My current run speed, unbuffed, is 244 or 45 percent which is really really good and that is without upgrading any pieces i think once i've upgraded all the pieces this set will get me 250 which i believe is the fastest you can go uh maybe you can go faster i could be wrong please let me know in the comments but anyway let me show you what gear i've got and then you need to keep an eye out for these uh pieces on the auction house the set is made up of both cloth and leather now you've got to remember when we're doing speed runs and when we're generally doing farming content because it is before dragon flight the chances are that you can one shot every single mob and also this can be a multi-class speed set as well as if you are one shotting most of the mobs and they're from old content you don't really need to worry about main stats secondary stats only if so, as you can see, my speed set is currently, without me moving, it is 31%. And I will tell you instantly, before anybody sees it, the only thing that I know that I'm missing from the Onyx amulet, yes, I did accidentally sell this on stream the other day, is the Harmonious um, Stone. So I, I'm still trying to get the Primordial Stone for that. This would increase my speed by about 300, so it's like another piece of gear. But the pieces of gear you want to be keeping an eye out for at the moment are, first of all, for the cloth ones. These are really cheap, so if you can get the cloth ones, I would strongly recommend you do that. The Maple Tender. Now, the Maple Tender set seems really cheap. I've bought, I think, two or three pieces. Three pieces, I've got the legs, I've got the waist and i have got the wrist and they were around three to five k each on my server so you're going to be splashing out about 15 to 20k depending on your server it may be worth making alts transferring money over there with a friend you trust or a second account just to see how cheap they are on different servers i'm not particularly bothered i gold farm as part of my primary place on world of warcraft so splashing out 100k on a speed set wasn't really too much of an issue for me uh, the most expensive thing was definitely this trinket I bought this uh, I think it was on the first or second day it's got masses amount of crit on and it's also got some speed on and that is the root of fire sorry I just had to cough and that is the root of fire so this trinket is really good it's got both the uh, critical strike which is our tertiary stat and you've got a big amount of speed on and what you need to remember about these items is that we can upgrade them to 8 out of 8 so the speed and the tertiary stat is going to stack up now guys if you've not seen my previous speed set video I suggest you go onto the channel and you search for my speed set guide I have a full guide on how to get all these pieces and what pieces of gear you should have but obviously I'm still using the Long Strider set, I'm still using the Heart of Azeroth and I've got a couple of pieces of patch 10.1.7 gear which is the Deep Rock Cape and the Deep Rock sign Signet and I'm also rocking a, another trinket that just has some speed on because I to get the drug bar rocks with current speed it's incredibly rare and it goes for a lot of gold so the ring that I'm rocking is a deep rock signet this is the best ring I can find on the auction house at the moment with crit and speed on the reason being is the only ring with crit on at the moment is the crafted pvp one and I've not seen any with speed on at the moment and the cape I've not seen any cape that isn't an extortionate price. I think the cheapest one on my server was 65k. So I'm just running the deep rock with both crit and speed on it. Now, in terms of weapon, you will be going for the javelin. This has crit on it and it has speed. And again, we can upgrade it with other things from the set. If you do get a lower item level, guys, do remember there may not be as much speed on it, but you can always upgrade it with flight stones and the new uh, 
Drake and Cress, whatever they're called. Um, Drake Cress, I, I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. So yeah, hopefully I've done all the testing for you and I can just show you now really quickly so you can see how fast we're running. Obviously I've got all the all the talent, so we're running at 244 and this is completely unbuffed. It's actually kind of insane. Honestly, you don't really need a speed set any faster than this. If you do go faster than this, it's really nice, but it is not essential. Anyway guys, I just wanted to show you what I've done for my speed set for patch 10.2 because I know there are going to be those of you at the start of your journey that are looking to make a speed set and are wondering what other more experienced gold makers are using for their actual speed set. So if this has been helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. It really helps and obviously we've got a big goal of a thousand subscribers before Christmas. We're almost at 800 now, so let's keep that growing. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button, check out Discord, and make sure to drop me a follow on twitch.tv forward slash insightful TV. In the meantime, guys, be kind, be peaceful, and remember, most of all, you are appreciated. Bye.